Hi, teacher. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. A little bit tired, but I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Well, a normal, a normal day working. Uh, a normal Monday. <laughs> normal Monday, back to work, back to do normal activities. That's it. Nothing special, just a... Uh, just the normal routines. How about you, Rafa? How was your Monday? Really, it was a great day. I don't have a lot of a lot of things to do, really. <laughs> Is Monday a, a busy day for you normally? It normally is a busy. It's busy, but to to the day we don't have many things to do. It, this is because I have a new web and only I only have six agents, uh, new hires. Mm -hmm. So how many do you need? Uh, excuse, excuse me. How many agents do you do you need? Six. Six. Uh, six. I I have I have only six. It's a new wave for my account. Oh, okay. So uh, I only have to check uh, uh, if they need help with the information or support or taking escalations or something, uh, things like something. But it's normal, really. It's not hard. All right. All right. Hey, Dahlia, I see you're having dinner. How are you? Thank you so much. Very fine. I in my work. And maybe, oh. yes, you see around two months. Because You're working I, hard. Wow. Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's for the season. It's really hard, but it's nice. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's only for November, this, well, the last three months of the year? or Yes. Or what? Yes. It's the most hard work. Okay. Yeah. But then in January, relax. No, nah, I have not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will have a, 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 lot of, a, lot of, a lot of work too. Okay. But for, for this season, it's, it's really hard. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Alex, how about you? How was your weekend? You're on mute, Alex. Also, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's, it's really good because um, we went with my family to Huayua, in relax, and uh, we played with my uh, 
daughter, my daughter, mm -hmm. but really good. Hey, that's nice. It's nice to spend time with the family. That's good. Yes. All right. And how is what you are? Did you like it? Yes, yes, I like it. Uh, ataco, uh, like it more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bayuba is good for the food, right? But the problem is that there's nothing to do. Yes. Yes. The, really, um, we went to uh, around the Huayua because uh, before we went to Santa Ana because I need to uh, look at a uh, uh, friends. But after we went to the uh, around to Huayua because we um, uh, we had a, a restaurant to mm -hmm. eat, and after I uh, uh, took a, a coffee, yeah, really this this weekend is was uh, uh, relaxed. <laughs> sounds like a relaxing weekend. Coffee, yeah. Yuba, nice restaurant. Yeah. Uh, this time with the family. That's yes. good. That's good. All right. Yeah. All right. Vilma, how about you? How was your weekend? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hey, Hi. Hello, Vilma. My Hi, friend. Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> well, my weekend is easy. Uh, the Saturday, I stay in home with my family. And yesterday, I went to get the vaccine, the third. Oh, so I, I feel bad. Which I, vaccine? The first, the second, the, the third, third? The second. The second? The third. The third. The third. The third. Okay. Yes. So I feel a little bad, a little fever, and I have a, a body pain. OK. Yes. But I think it's normal, no? Yeah, they, uh, they say. <laughs> Uh huh. They, that's what they say that after you get the vaccine is the the first day, the first two days. Um, yesterday, you... yesterday I don't feel nothing. No. Uh, no, just okay. the the pain in the arm. But mm. today, in the afternoon, in the afternoon, I feel a little bad. But you you look different. I don't know what happened with your eyes. With your mouth <laughs> <laughs> because I feel bad. <laughs> the fever, maybe. <laughs> no, no, it's a joke. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens. It's it's normal. Yes, um, yes. Normal. But some people they don't have any reactions. Some people they get yes. the vaccine, some, some nothing. People, yes. Mm -hmm. I think I, I don't have that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got the I got the two vaccines. And nothing, nothing. Mm -hmm. But they say that now you have to have a a, a, a third vaccine. Third vaccine, mm -hmm. yes. But it's a it's a different company. Me neither. Me neither. When uh, uh, I get the Pfizer, the Pfizer, uh, and the two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's it say that it's hard. It's more strong. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, I, I don't know. I I, I think I was uh, AstraZeneca. AstraZeneca. Uh -huh. Oh, no, 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 no. AstraZeneca no. is okay. The Sinovac, the Chinese Sinovac. one. Sinovac. Yes. Uh -huh. I have the Sinovac one and two. But, uh -huh. uh, the the okay. third Pfizer. Okay. But uh, Sinovac one and two? One no and two. Problems. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. No, no problem. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing. That's what I understand that people said that the, the problem is with the other vaccine, the third one. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, well, we'll see. We'll see little by little, right? Yes. Um, the important is that you are safe. That, that's it's, the idea. That, it's important. It's the idea. Yes. That's, that's, that's <laughs> the idea. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and continue. Today, we're going to be looking at motos. Modos are those words that change that we can use very commonly to give meaning. Uh, for example, suggestions, recommendations, opinions, obligations. Here are some of the ones that we have that we're looking at. And of course, there are many other modos, uh, not only might, may, and could, but we're going to learn a little bit about how to use these and other ones, okay? So let's take a moment and watch the video. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. 
Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final S on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up? Okay. So what's the important thing? There's quite a few things that are important in today's video or things that are relevant. First is looking at this, the difference when we use them and what they mean. So a small possibility is the small word like might, may, okay? And a big possibility or a strong possibility are words like must, okay? And in the middle is the word could. These are for modals. Then adverbs, similar. We use them very commonly, maybe, possibly, except for the one that is, one that means yes is definitely, okay? So if you say, are you going to the party? Oh, I'm definitely going. That means it's a yes, okay? Mm -hmm. That's what it means, okay? But if you say maybe I go, it's the normal. Um, maybe yes, maybe no, it depends on the situation. Any questions on, on these models for right now? But I, I have a question. For example, probably, probably means, but mm -hmm. this is this is a average, but it's the same like a, a maybe. It's similar like to maybe, but it's more more than maybe oh this is i made it, it's a it's a moral it's a model correct but is i made is is not the same or like a uh possibility no all of possibility everything here is a possibility the difference is how much possibility 20%, 30%, 50%, 90%. That's the difference. That's why in the chart, you see the line, the small mm -hmm. possibility, the first words. These are the small possibilities, these. Mm -hmm. Then the big possibility, the last ones. Okay. 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 So that's the first part, right? So when you're mm -hmm. not sure, we use might, may, Okay, those are the ones that we're talking about. Might and may is when you don't know. No. Okay. When you have a little bit more information, then it, it's an, an option, like could. And when you have a lot, then it's must. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it has to do with those. So mm -hmm. we can use must. This is the key. Must is when we are sure about it. When we know the answer. Okay. So... I want to go to the US. Um, what do I need to do? Ah, you must apply for a visa. It's, a, it's something that I am sure. Not Maybe you have a little money, maybe you have a lot, but no, you must have a visa. Yes. That's, that's what I'm definitely, or uh -huh. you definitely, that's the word definitely, definitely need a visa. Okay. Yeah, because, because this is just like a, you must a uh, uh, a visa because it's like a, a condition because it's obligatory. Like Correct. This. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So as an example, uh, today, um, who was it? Uh, I think it was Anna Vilma. Anna Vilma got the vaccine, uh, right Anna Vilma? Yes, teacher. Okay, so I think, I think Anna Vilma must be sick. I am pretty sure. Uh -huh. This is a strong possibility. Okay. Now, Francisco got the vaccine, but Francisco doesn't look sick. So he may be, he may be okay. He may be immune. Mm. It's a small possibility. I don't know, but mm -hmm. it's a small possibility. But Ana Vilma is a big possibility. That's going to be the difference. Okay. Teacher, sorry. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. example, uh, when I say I must, uh, I must uh, receive the third doses of vaccine. This is an obligation. Is 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 its obligation. Correct. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, uh, imagine this. Imagine you go to work tomorrow. Tomorrow you go to work and your boss is not there. Your boss, your supervisor, the, the president, whatever, is not there. Mm -hmm. What happened? You don't know. You don't know. But you think, ah, he must be in a meeting. He must be uh, out of the office. He must be, uh, and this is the idea, it's a possibility. You don't know but it's a strong possibility because he's not, he is always in the office, for example. Mm -hmm. Now, remember that models, they change. That's why they're models. They, they go according to the situation. So sometimes there are obligations. Alex, you must speak in English. Francisco, you must wash the clothes, right? That's obligation. Other times there are for request. Hi, Dalia. May I go to the bathroom? Rafa, may I help you? Okay, it's a request. But today is not for obligations or requests. Today's are only for possibilities. That's the difference. Because in the other context, they have other meanings. Okay. Okay. I agree with my, my obligation in Francisco. I'm so sorry for him. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So those are the important, okay? Yeah. Now remember, the other tip is that we use maybe and perhaps at the beginning, but the others we can use after, after the subject. But uh -huh. may, may, sorry, maybe and perhaps go at the beginning. That's going to be the only difference. Yes. Okay. So here we're going to take a look at the picture, okay? And we're looking at body language. So with your partners, you look the eight, sorry, the six things. And what do they mean? Simple. What do they mean? How are we going to use it? We're going to use it with our modal verbs. Sorry. Uh, as an example, okay, I think this one. Ah, it may mean he has a headache. Okay. It could mean mm -hmm. he, he doesn't feel well. Okay. Whatever you think. The important is that you are giving your ideas, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then after you and your partner use the models to make sentences, then you select what do you think are he are the words or the expression they are saying. And here we have all six of the expressions. Okay. Okay. So first we make sentences, and then we make the using the models. First, make the sentences using the models, and second, select what is the correct option that they are describing. Any questions? No. Okay.
Hi, let me ask you a question. Are you allowed to drink and drive? This time we'll talk about permission, prohibition, and obligation. So stay around for the explanation. Permission, obligation, and prohibition. Permission. You can camp here. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Obligation. You have to camp here. You've got to take off your shoes. Prohibition. You can't camp here. You aren't allowed to take off your shoes. When we talk about permission, we will use can or be allowed to. For example, you can park here. He's allowed to stay up late. We will use can't and not be allowed to for prohibition. He can't smoke in the lobby. They are not allowed to answer the phone. If you notice, it's the opposite of our permission usage. Finally, we have obligation. For obligation, have to or have got to are used. You have to pay rent. He's got to pick up the trash. Write one example for permission, obligation, and prohibition with real information about you. What can you do? What are you allowed to do? And what do you have to do? Don't forget to write your examples on our discussion box. Hi, let me ask you a question. Are you allowed to drink and drive? This time we'll talk about permission, prohibition, and obligation. So stay around for the explanation. Permission, obligation, and prohibition. Permission. You can camp here. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Obligation. You have to camp here. You've got to take off your shoes. Prohibition. You can't camp here. You aren't allowed to take off your shoes. When we talk about permission, we will use can or be allowed to. For example, you can park here. He's allowed to stay up late. We will use can't and not be allowed to for prohibition. He can't smoke in the lobby. They are not allowed to answer the phone. If you notice, it's the opposite of our permission usage. Finally, we have obligation. For obligation, have to or have got to are used. You have to pay rent. He's got to pick up the trash. Write one example for permission, obligation, and prohibition with real information about you. What can you do? What are you allowed to do? And what do you have to do? Don't forget to write your examples on our discussion box. after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with us two sentences. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final S on the verb means. 
Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with us two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. Okay. I think everybody has the idea. You got what the concepts were. Let me hear some of your sentences. Uh, let's take a look at the picture and then you tell me what they mean. All right. Whoa. Number one, who wants to do number one? Uh, do you sound crazy? Make, make the sentence, Alex. Use the model. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Maybe, maybe he's crazy. Okay, maybe he's crazy. Okay. That sounds crazy. Okay. okay. All right. Remember, that's good. That that's using the adverbs. Also, we used uh, he he may be crazy using the uh, the modal verbs. Okay, who's got number okay. two? Who wants to do number two? No, but did they, come, here. Come, here. come here. Come here. Alex, did you have a question? No. Yes. The the correct it in first is he may be is crazy. The correct no. was maybe no. maybe no. he's crazy. Maybe. He is crazy. Some okay. Crazy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Because okay. remember, maybe it goes at the beginning. Maybe it goes at the beginning. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I think number two. I, uh, I heard Dalia. Was that you? you? Come here. Okay, Dalia. Number two. Come here. Ah. Okay. But Come remember, here. use the modal verbs. Use the modal verbs. Uh, um, Make yeah. a sentence. Nom, 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 nom. I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, the number two. She she may she may to no she must uh, say come here. She must. Okay, it's okay, Dali. It's the idea. The idea little by little. Yes, those are the model verbs. May, might, could, okay, must, okay, all right. All right, Rafa, what does number three mean? What does this gesture mean, number three? It's be quiet. Okay, so how do we use that in the modal verb, in a sentence? Maybe he is. Uh, uh, put your microphone on mute. Try, try. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Rafa, do you want to remember? Try to make the sentence using one of the models may, might, could, must. What does that mean? What does this gesture mean? It may be be a, a quiet. Okay, it may be, okay. It may, okay. Or he may want to quiet someone or he must want you to be quiet. So that's right, you use the models. Those are the ones. Okay. Teacher, right. uh, example. Yes, Francisco. You, you must be quiet in the church. Okay, for example, that's an obligation. Yes, you must be quiet in the church. Mm -hmm. Okay, now here's the difference. When we're looking at these, then you are using must, you are using it like obligations. Remember, mm -hmm. that's the difference is that uh, when we use the models, uh, is what your opinion is. So what could be the meaning of this gesture? Ah, it, it may mean, it must mean, it could mean. These are possibilities. But when you say you must be quiet, then it's an order. It's different the meaning is the correct usage both of them but one is a possibility and the other is an obligation okay so what is the difference when you give an order you say you must she must he must when you are talking about possibilities ah that's when you use it because we're talking about gestures so we we don't talk about the people we talk about 
what they are doing and what does it mean. Okay, let's take a look here. So number one, what did you come up with your partner? What was number one? What was the sentence? This sounds crazy. That, okay, sounds, that crazy. sounds crazy. Good. Look at number two. What was number two? Come oh, here. Ah, come here. Okay. Number three? Be quiet. Be quiet. Okay. Good. What was number four? Peace. 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 Uh -huh, okay, very common. Number five? Good luck. Good luck. Okay. And the last one is? I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. There you go. Exactly. Those are all of the ones that, that gestures mean. Okay. Now, if you are in a different country, maybe they have a different meaning. Because mm -hmm. in El Salvador, woo, a lot of gestures in El Salvador. And they yeah. are different. They are different. For example, in El Salvador, this gesture is for drinking. Mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. <laughs> but in the United States and Hawaii is that you are having a good time, not drinking. It's used mm -hmm. like a kawabanga or is a, another expression. Oh. So when you, you see a lot of surfers and they say, hey, hello, Alex. And they'll go, hey, they'll go like mm -hmm. this is because they are doing it to say hello. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. for example, here, here in El Salvador, this means okay, okay, right? Yes. But in the United States, in some places, it's for the Nazis. This is you are a Nazi. Oh. You have the, the third Reich, uh -huh, the, the ah. Hitler, uh, because mm -hmm. in the Hitler in Germany, they have the third. Mm -hmm. So it depends. That's why the gestures, that's why that's when we use the models. It may mean, it could mean, it must mean. This is what you think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But is different in the United States is one meaning in Japan or I think no in France is uh is cheap when you say ah it's okay is for us it's okay but for them is this is the cheap is not good this is the low price something that is not value so for us it's okay but for them this means zero zero value nothing mm -hmm. okay I have a I have an example yes Francisco <laughs> Four years ago, I went to Italy, and the people, uh, when people uh, spoke, uh, the gesture is, uh, hey, it's, it's an intensive words when you use the, the, the union the fingers. Uh -huh. And our country, this is a poquito, a little bit. A little bit. Or like this, we are hungry, oh, right? Oh, like this, oh yes, okay. intense in, eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different. Yes, also here in El Salvador, we go like this, and this means, ah, I want to pay, I want the check. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes. that's the idea of gestures. Gestures, we use it beginning with the word it because you are not talking about the person, you're talking about what they do. It may mean, it could mean, it must mean, it should mean. Those are the ideas. Now we're gonna continue looking at models, but now we're going to look at the different meaning of models. So now we're going to look at permission, obligation, and prohibition. Permission is that you can do something. Prohibition means that you cannot do something. And obligation is that you must do something. Here we have three of them. Permission, remember, prohibition, and obligation. Hi, let me ask you a question. Are you allowed to drink and drive? This time we'll talk about permission, prohibition, and obligation. So stay around for the explanation. Permission, obligation, and prohibition. Okay. Here, we're using, again, the same word can, but now we're using it for a permission that you, like a mother and her children, or a father and her, his children is, you can, ah, you can go to the party. You can ride a bicycle. Ah, this is the permission. Or we can use, you're allowed to. You're allowed to go outside. You're allowed to play video games if you have good grades in the school. But what happens if the children have bad grades? 
if the children do not have good grades, many parents use prohibition. Uh -huh. They say you can't play uh, video games. You aren't allowed to go to the party. You can't uh, visit your friends. This is prohibition. So permission, it's okay. Prohibition is not okay. And then we have obligation. Obligation is a necessity you have to do. And we use two forms. You have, you have to, and we use the expression, you've got to. It's the same meaning. You have to camp here or you've got to camp here. The same, you've got to take off your shoes here or you have to take off your shoes here. Like in, like in Japan, if you've seen the videos or the movies for Japan, it's obligation to take off your shoes when you go into the house. Is mm -hmm. you have to take off your shoes. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. Today, with the pandemic, you've got to wash your hands every day. You've got to wash your hands very carefully. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now mm -hmm. let's watch the rest of the video so we understand. So permission is okay to do. Prohibition mm -hmm. is not okay to do, and obligation is you have to do. Permission. You can camp here. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Obligation. You have to camp here. You've got to take off your shoes. Prohibition. You can't camp here. You aren't allowed to take off your shoes. When we talk about permission, we will use can or be allowed to. For example, you can park here. He's allowed to stay up late. We will use can't and not be allowed to for prohibition. He can't smoke in the lobby. They're not allowed to answer the phone. If you notice, it's the opposite of our permission usage. Finally, we have obligation. For obligation, have to or have got to are used. You have to pay rent. He's got to pick up the trash. Okay. Write one example for permission, obligation, and prohibition with real information about you. What can you do? What are you allowed to do? And what do you have to do? Okay. This is what we're going to practice with our partners. We're going to practice the speaking. What's something you can do? Okay. Something you are allowed to do and something you have to do. We're going to look at it in two situations, in your house, okay, and at work. At work, what can you do? At work, what are you allowed to do? Or at work, what do you have to do, okay? These are the ideas. So we're gonna talk the three questions for home and for work in the two places. Okay? So as an example, at work, I am allowed, I am allowed to take food. It's not an obligation, but I am allowed to take my lunch, okay? In my house, I am allowed to watch TV anytime that I want. Really, no, because my wife controls the TV. And she says, <laughs> no, 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 but, but you understand, you understand. <laughs> this is the idea, right? It maybe, maybe in this case is more... I must ask my wife for permission to watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh huh. But this is the idea. So, with our partners, we're going to answer the three yeah. questions. Yeah. Delia, Dar yeah. sorry, Dalia, Dalia, did you have a question? Um, no, not yet. Not yet? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. After that, okay. I, I have a question. Yes, Francisco. Yes. Uh, I don't understand. In with the partners, we make three questions and answer. With your partner, you are going to answer these three questions. Okay. So I am going to, if you are my partner, I say, Francisco, what can you do at work? Or what can you do at home? What are you allowed to do at work? Or what are you allowed to do at home? Or in a different place. For example, it doesn't have to be work. For example, I can change and I can make it more difficult. I can say, Francisco, what can you do at a bank? What can you do at a supermarket? What can you, uh, the idea is you can make easier or more difficult to practice more with your partner. Okay, okay thank you. You're welcome. Okay. 
So let's try one more time. Here we go with our partners. Remember the three and ask for two different places. House and work. Page 96, exercise 11, listening. What's in a sign? Part A, listen to three conversations about driving. Check true or false for each statement. One. Oh no, not another parking ticket. That's the second one this week. Why did I get a ticket for parking here? I thought this was a free parking zone. Maybe you can only park here after working hours. Is there a sign around anywhere? Oh, you're right. There's one over there. I didn't even notice it. Looks like you can't park here till after 6 p.m. How much is the fine? Would you believe it? $60. Two. I wonder why that traffic officer is signaling me. Perhaps he means you're driving too fast. No, I don't think so. The speed limit is 60, and I'm only going 55. Hmm. I wonder why there are no other cars in this lane. What do you mean? Well, you see how the other cars are all in the lane next to us? You're right. I think this one is just for buses and taxis. They really should put up better signs around here. Three. That's weird. The last few cars driving toward us were flashing their lights. I see what you mean. There's another one. Maybe my lights are on or something. Let me check. No, they're off. Do you think there's an accident up ahead? Maybe you'd better slow down. Oh, now I see what's happening. There's a patrol car up ahead checking people's speed. How nice of those other drivers to let me know. Well, I'm within the speed limit. At least I am now. Page 96, exercise 11, part B. Listen again. Which drivers did something wrong? One. Oh no, not another parking ticket. That's the second one this week. Why did I get a ticket for parking here? I thought this was a free parking zone. Maybe you can only park here after working hours. Is there a sign around anywhere? Oh, you're right. There's one over there. I didn't even notice it. Looks like you can't park here till after 6 p.m. How much is the fine? Would you believe it? $60. Two. I wonder why that traffic officer is signaling me. Perhaps he means you're driving too fast. No, I don't think so. The speed limit is 60, and I'm only going 55. Hmm. I wonder why there are no other cars in this lane. What do you mean? Well, you see how the other cars are all in the lane next to us? You're right. I think this one is just for buses and taxis. They really should put up better signs around here. Three. That's weird. The last few cars driving toward us were flashing their lights. I see what you mean. There's another one. Maybe my lights are on or something. Let me check. No, they're off. Do you think there's an accident up ahead? Maybe you'd better slow down. Oh, now I see what's happening. 
There's a patrol car up ahead checking people's speed. How nice of those other drivers to let me know. Well, I'm within the speed limit. At least I am now. One more time. Page 96. Exercise 11. Listening. What's in a sign? Part A. Listen to three conversations. All right, Carla, tell me about your partner. What's something that they are able to or can do or what did your partner tell you? Um, Alexander okay. and my partner, Katia, we told him about the, the house and work. And I say, in my house, I can do anything. <laughs> That's yes, good. That's wife, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and my word too, but I have to respect everyone. I know. Mm -hmm. Yes, in my work, in my family, and my community. And we're talking about that. Yeah, and the work, um, I, I, do not I allow I not allow the cell phone for example. Oh, okay. And uh, another thing, you can't. It's not. It's not can your. Sorry, you can't. What can't? We can't. It's not, this is. Yes, it's not. Um, you not. can't smoke. Yes, yes, yes. That's yes. right. You can't smoke. Yes, in, in our work. Okay, all right. Yeah. Good, mm -hmm. good. Okay. Mirna, tell me about you and your partner. Okay, teacher. My partner well, are Ana Vilma and I don't remember that, that one. That. And Ana, too. Ana, I <laughs> forget. Two Ana, two Anas. Two Anas, <laughs> two Anas <laughs> <laughs> that we are speaking that in, at home we can sleep uh, something that in the work is not, uh, it's not allowed <laughs> <I think. laughs> another thing in uh, our house I have to do it to clean the house and wash the dishes and in the bank, it's not allowed to uh, answer your cell phone when someone speaks with you. Okay, okay, cool. That's it? No, no, no. Good, Mirna. Good. All <laughs> right, you, let's too. see. Henry, tell me about you and your partner. Francisco. Francisco is, is my parents. Okay. My partners. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Uh, in my case, uh, uh, the, uh, he questioned me the what is uh, 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 I in my job is, uh, I uh, I can't uh, I can arrive arrive uh, the uh, the work late. No, you no. Can't or you can. I, I can't. Okay. I can arrive at my job 
late. Uh, I can I can I can leave for the two uh, for ten five minutes for uh, for anything uh, what I need I need it to do. For how many how many minutes? Uh, ten ten minutes. Okay. Uh, uh, he questioned me the the per, permis, permission permission in, in my in my home. Mm -hmm. In my home, I can I can everything in my home. I can when do. my mm -hmm. but but when my when my wife uh, isn't here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> exactly. Henry. Exactly. Henry. Uh, Henry, Henry say Henry say because I am the king in my home. <laughs> <laughs> the, king, okay. the king, but when the wife is not there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Only that. Okay, good, good. Alexander, tell me about you and your partner. Alexander, you are on mute. You are on mute. Hey, so sorry. Uh, I like the, the answer of Katya because uh, the question is, what can you do? Katya, hey, Alex, hey, I can do a cleaning my house. You're, what? <laughs> because <laughs> it's obligation, but the idea is you um, have a law to listen music. Uh, I don't know, but maybe, I don't remember exactly, but she told me, no, I can't. And I, I don't know, I, I feel she oh, oh. is working in her house. <laughs> I don't know if she is, is, uh, is her, I uh, have a time for her. I don't know because I, I, I don't understand exactly, but, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 but she is a good girl. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yes, maybe that's it because you're right. If you are working at home, you can't listen to music, yeah. right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, me, I can't listen to music. I, I am working. Huh? I'm not going to, I can't watch TV. Yeah. I, I'm not allowed to watch TV. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, but sometimes, oh, sometimes no. All the time when I watch the dishes, when I watch the, <laughs> I, put a, I, I, I put a music because my wife, my wife told me, uh, tell me, hey, Alex, please, Pass. I need the uh, washes. I know I need the dishes. Quickly, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only need the music. Alex, uh -huh. work, work, Alex, work. Wash the dishes quickly, uh -huh. quickly. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. All right. Now, guys, we continue. We have the ideas of how we're using them. Very nice examples. I think everybody got the idea. Here we have a couple images. Look at these images, okay? Maybe it's too small, the image. Let me try here. Ah, there we go, that's better. Look at those images. What do you think they represent? What do these represent? Look at number one, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think- well, You're not allowed to eat. Ah, you're not allowed to eat, okay? Okay, so that's number one, right? That's A, okay? What about letter B? What do you think is letter B? Turn off the light. Okay, let's go with that one. Ah. Mm -hmm. Letter B, turn off the lights, okay? Mm -hmm. What about number C? What's, what's letter C? Mm -hmm. Don't dogs here. No dogs, okay. Maybe something like okay. that. Okay, no pets allowed on the campus. This is letter C. Okay. Good. What about letter D? Close the door. Ah, interesting. Okay. Mm, close the mm -hmm. door. I think that would be this one, right? The closest. Um, yes. Yeah. Okay. Like in the office for the air conditioning, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at letter E. A little bit more. Unusual. What is that? Mm. 
it's about window. window. Maybe it's a window. Yes. Yes. Window. What do you think it could be? Look at the ones that we have. Ah. Yes. Don't open, open the, the window. window. Okay. Good. So don't open the window. Okay. Uh, don't open the window. It's possible. What about letter F? Turn back. Bike. The bike. Ah, yes. Lock your bike. Uh huh. Like yes. your lock your bikes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. What about letter G? Mm-hmm. It's about trash. Uh-huh. Throw all trash in the waste paper basket. Okay, good. That's the name. Waste paper mm -hmm. basket. This this thing is the waste paper basket. And the last one, letter H is Don't no play okay. ball in the play hallway. Ball. Play ball in the hallway. Uh, Exactly. So that's that's the idea. All of those are for the models, right? That all of the things that you are allowed or not allowed to do. You must, you can't, you have to, you need to. That's the idea for using all of those words and what they mean. Okay. Okay. Hey, you see? Easy. No problem. You guys have one much right there. Agua. Ya le a traer agua. Okay. Thank agua. you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Después de clases te voy a ir a traer agua. Okay. Thank you very much. Espérame. Now, now we're going minutos. to listen. Now we're going to listen and we want to answer these questions. So que listen se espere to the la niña. Page 96. Mirna, if you want, you can put your microphone on mute. That way you don't have any problems. Mm -hmm. So everybody put your microphone on mute. That way you can hear clearly. Exercise 11. Listening. What's in a sign? Part A. Listen to three conversations about driving. Check true or false for each statement. One. Oh no, not another parking ticket. That's the second one this week. Why did I get a ticket for parking here? I thought this was a free parking zone. Maybe you can only park here after working hours. Is there a sign around anywhere? Oh, you're right. There's one over there. I didn't even notice it. Looks like you can't park here till after 6 p.m. How much is the fine? Would you believe it? $60. Two. I wonder why that traffic officer is signaling me. Perhaps he means you're driving too fast. No, I don't think so. The speed limit is 60, and I'm only going 55. Hmm. I wonder why there are no other cars in this lane. What do you mean? Well, you see how the other cars are all in the lane next to us? You're right. I think this one is just for buses and taxis. They really should put up better signs around here. Three. That's weird. The last few cars driving toward us were flashing their lights. I see what you mean. There's another one. Maybe my lights are on or something. Let me check. No, they're off. Do you think there's an accident up ahead? Maybe you'd better slow down. Oh, now I see what's happening. There's a patrol car up ahead checking people's speed. How nice of those other drivers to let me know. Well, I'm within the speed limit. At least I am now. Page 96. Okay. Before we listen again, let's answer if they're true or false. Number one, is it true or false? True. true. Okay. Number two, true or false? True. True. Okay. First one is false. The first false. one is false. Yes. Yes. False. Oh, okay. False. Okay. What about this one? The fine for parking is sixteen dollars. False. False. Okay. Let's see number two. The woman is driver faster than the speed limit. False. 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 Okay. This one. There are other cars in her lane. False. False. 
the lane is reserved for buses and taxis? True. 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 Number three, the other drivers are flashing their lights. True. 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 He's driving with his lights on. False. 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 True. False or true? False. 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 Okay. And the other drivers are giving him a warning? True. 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 Okay. Let's take a look. Oh, excellent <laughs> job. Excellent job. Okay. Hmm. Very good. Okay. So. I guess we don't need to listen if we have 100, okay? Wonderful. So okay. what are we going to do? We're going to pause right there. And tomorrow we're going to continue our ideas. We're going to practice tomorrow a lot of speaking about what are you can do, you can't do, what you have to do, what are some possibilities of different situations, okay? Okay. Okay. Right. okay. Any questions for today? Any problems? No, no, not yet. No, no, maybe tomorrow. Uh huh. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I see. Oh, is Dalia not yet? Todavía no, pero ya casi me va a salir el Todavía no. All right. Have a nice night. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, guys. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.